Gate crashers gathered early at the RC Austin Operations Center in Georgetown this past weekend. They were searching for new rides for the warmer weather ahead. We're with Bike It today. We're here at the uh, local yard work and basically we are doing a bike sale slash trade-in. All of the money is going to go towards the local food bank. The organizers learned from past events. That's why security, such as Hendry, was on hand to ensure nobody snatched a bike before the 10 a.m. start. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is, uh, I'm Jane Fogel, a, a town councillor, and I'm with the Bike It group that has organized all of this. And our mission is to get bikes to everybody and more people riding their bikes. Our mission is just to get these recycled and uh, help out the food bank at the same time. So thanks for being here. 10 o'clock, let's go. And go they did. There were about 100 bikes available when the swap began, and it didn't take long for the racks to empty. <laughs> so the event started at 10, it's about 10, 15, and I'd say we got uh, you know, maybe about 20 left. Melissa Wilson was there early. Her son Brock was dropping off his old bike, but he had an eye on a new ride too. We uh, brought Brock's old bike, so we donated his bike that he's outgrown, and we thought we would come and see if there was the next size up for him, um, keeping with being environmentally friendly as best we can. I think it's a great way to, uh, to recycle bikes that kids outgrow and adults if they no longer use them or if they have bikes that they want to be able to pay forward. Um, and then it gets people active in our community, which I think is amazing. Wilson was one of the lucky ones. Matt Borden arrived 20 minutes late, and he suffered a different fate. I uh, was just looking for a bike for my daughter. Uh, we got here a little late. There wasn't very much left, um, so we didn't find anything for her. If you could all bring your bikes out, um, good to recycle them so other kids can get newer bikes. But Borden was on his way home to grab bikes they would no longer use and bring them to the swap to help others. Other donations, some with a very Canadian theme, rolled in slowly as well. I'm here to donate a bike. We, our uh, son and daughter enjoyed having a tricycle for many years, but they've outgrown it. So we're happy to pass it on to somebody else who needs one. Volunteers were busy adjusting seats and pumping up tires throughout the event. Prices ranged from $10 on the low end for kids bikes up to $300 for an electric bike. Shoppers successfully tested their new rides in the parking lot and it was only the racks that caused any problems at all. Hey kiddo, it happens. But despite perhaps needing more bikes for shoppers, the swap's recycling of used rides was an absolute success. It's, uh, it's impressive to know that this, all these racks were full and now they're pretty much empty. So it's great to know that they're all getting new life. Yeah, right. Yeah. Looking forward to seeing those new lives rolling around the hills this summer. I'm Deglaze Brook for Halton News. Good adjustments, sir. Good adjustments.